moving in, as you can see, we have a lot of our stuff in here. Um, there's Ryan. He's been working all weekend, so I've been doing this a little solo. Well, my dad was helping out a lot. That helped out. And Ryan helped pack the car a few times, so. some boxes maybe and look it Not much has changed. Still living in the same, well, still sleeping in the same old futon spot in the kitchen. And a power cord into the AC outlet on the pump. Thank you, No No, for insisting that we take this air mattress, even though I didn't want to take it. And then you said, oh, but maybe guests will come over. And I thought, okay, yeah, good idea, but guess what? We're using it, not guests. Also, Ryan always follows instructions, and I just guess my way through it. Success! Oh, bed in the kitchen. What's new? Maybe we'll unpack some boxes. I don't know. This is my shoe shelf. I'm really, really proud of. I don't think it'll fit all my shoes, but it'll fit my day-to-day -day ones, right? Yeah. But not Ryan's shoes. Maybe his can fit underneath. We'll see. Let me try it. Most of the unpacking is done now. I mean, I'm, no, that's... <laughs> most of the unpacking for down here is done now. This is all just the garbage and stuff. And Ryan and my dad are upstairs working. You can kind of see the disaster, but at least the cupboards are kind of full. Um, it's really hard trying to figure out where you want to organize all your stuff. Like, I didn't really think about it. Um, you know, as I talk to more homeowners, they say that it changes as you start using your kitchen and you realize what you use a lot of and what you don't use a lot of. So, I mean, we'll see as our kitchen progresses and as everything actually, you know, as we figure everything out. But yeah. So we moved the mattress tonight, which is a pretty big step because that means that my bed is now here and not at my parents' house. And so, um, our closet's up and hopefully we can start through the majority of our clothes tonight so that we actually know where things are and we have stuff to wear. Um, and I have to fix the lighting in this house. Ooh, it's really dark and yellow. I think if I turn the pot lights on, it'll, it'll help out in here. Anyways, um, so yeah, so that'll be the plan for tonight. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> We're tired, I'm tired. I feel like um, my entire time has been 
just working and moving. Oh, there we go. This is better. Working and moving and working and moving. And I'm just tired of it. I'm, I'm excited to just be able to stop and live because right now I'm. It's hard. But once it's done, it'll be amazing. I'm so happy that I've had so much help um, throughout this whole process. And it's really been, it's, yeah, it's really been great. And I'm, I'm really happy uh, to know that all these people really care about us so much. Uh, especially my dad who was just here moving the mattress for us uh, because I'm sure that's the last thing he wanted to do and helped us with our closet a little bit. Um, so, and made, made our bed. And I mean, I could go on with all the things that everybody's helped us out with, Ryan's parents and my parents and my family, like just everybody. Um, so it's been really special. I think that this house has had so many hands touch it and come through it. And um, it's already so full of memories, even though it's so fresh and so new. And I think that's what really makes a house a home is everything that you do uh, in it and all the memories that you create. So thank you for um, helping us start those memories uh, already and uh, we're so grateful for everything that everybody has done. So hopefully uh, tonight I will sort through some clothes, maybe I'll shoot some of that footage, um, but yeah.